Ready to fight. Ready. Good. All right, here we go. Charles Oliveira may be the most exciting fighter, man or woman, on this roster top to bottom. He is a finisher of the highest order, and you can be sure he will be in hot pursuit of another stoppage win here tonight. Early round action here, Charles Oliveira pressing forward, guard high, in constant pursuit of his foot. Yeah, classic boy time, man. Lifting that knee to draw to reaction, and if you give him too big a reaction, he will start you with that beautiful left hook. The guy is... is already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's gonna... Look at that finish there. Right -hand shot. He picked the back ankle by reaching all the way across. Under three minutes now to go on the round. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop us. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, nice combination of elbows there by Diaz. Slicing and dicing. Looking good with these elbows tonight. He looks like a Michelin star chef trying to slice and dice in the kitchen the way he's tearing his opponent up. Oh, might be able to get his leg here, and he does. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get sunk. Diaz's pass attempt denied. Great submission defense. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Look at him, he's setting up a choke now. Look at that, he's setting it up. Oh, looks like he's got that submission locked in. Starting to get deep. Work, come on. Oh, oh, he cleared it and he got out. He cleared the leg, got to his back, and now he's out of that dark choke. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Oliveira. Here. Oh. The horn at the end of the round, so the fighter was really caught in a submission there, just as the horn sounded. I have to say he was saved by. So back to the stools they go. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. All right, five minutes down. Here we go with Ready round five. two. Charles Ready. Oliver versus Good. Nate Diaz. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oliveira gets the takedown. Houston. Nice elbow lands at range. Back mount now. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oliveira doing the right things defensively. Nate Diaz presses forward and lands here, DC. You know this is a pressure style and a pace that he can certainly keep up for 15 full minutes if needed. Got good. Oh, nice ankle pick to get the fight back to the canvas. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, beautiful fighting. Oh, it's tight. Oh. Oh, this is some high-level, efficient, effective ground and pound by Oliveira. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestling stand-up, get to your knees, 
Expose your hands. Don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your handstands. Up, oh, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than the half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use yours. Oh, get the cut man ready. Good series of elbows there. Oh, yeah. He's got his work cut out for him. He is tearing this guy apart with those elbows. Oh, tight submission attempt now with the Durst. Oh, man, it's getting deep. Oh, he got up. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with the submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great rapper, and he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Nice transition. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and he's starting to show itself. Bleeding from the forehead there a little bit. It doesn't appear to be too bad. The focus for the cut man, though, make sure that he can stop the bleeding and not allow the blood to get into the eyes. All right, well, the cut man is out for him, and I believe... You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, fortunate that one didn't... What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high. He went low. And now he's got to hurt very bad. Got an ankle pick there. Well, if the single leg, the double leg's not working, go deep into the well, and the ankle pick was there for him. Boy, you got to keep digging into that toolbox. He has so many different attacks. We saw that right now with that beautiful ankle pick. Oh, nice hammer fist there by Diaz. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Another ground and pound strike lands. Oh, big ground strikes continue to land. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. For a submission now. This dude is a wizard on the ground. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, somehow the somehow the out. Out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Working out of the half guard here. Oh, he's working for the sub. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission for a big ground and pound. Oh, goes for the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances. His lip. That doesn't look like fun. Short time now in the round. Oliveira getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Allows him to get right back up. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but did not react well enough to secure top position. All right, so just like that, back to a standing position. We will see the Strikes are 
just brutal. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. At the can, we're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so what a round it was. On Thursday, he said, when I touch guys in this division, they go down, and he proved it. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Entering in on a single leg takedown attempt here, and he is able to get the fight where he wants it. Nice job there. The moment he secures that single leg, you can see how comfortable he is and the variety of finishes he has from his position. While working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Oliveira. Huge knee lands from close. Oh, another knee by Diaz. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So, for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good going forward. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I Going for an arm bar now. Arm is very tight. submission tonight champ he was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it eventually his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission he did that and he should be very proud of the work he did 